Yep. Good evening. Is this Bob? My name is Jimmy. I'm looking at your ad for the center block. Is it still for sale? What? Is your center block still for sale? What cinder block? The cinder block for six dollars. The ad is for a garden hose. Oh, I thought you were selling a cinder block. I'm not. Sorry. There is a cinder block in the photo. It's just there in my backyard. I can offer you three dollars. The listing says six, non-negotiable. Six dollars for one cinder block? No, for the garden hose. How much for the cinder block? I'm not selling the cinder block. Why'd you put it in the photo? I took a photo of the garden hose. It just happened to be in there. You drive a hard bargain on that cinder block. Okay, I can go up to four dollars. Are you deaf? I am only selling the garden hose. I believe four dollars is a very fair price for a used cinder block. Why don't you go buy the cinder block somewhere else? Is the toaster fixed yet? I'm working on it. Well, the eggs are done already. I just need the. I said I'm working on it. Hello. Hi, this is Jimmy again. I believe we can work this out. There's a good deal here for both of us. There is no deal. The cinder block is not for sale. Well, let me throw an offer at you, Bob. How about we split the difference? Five dollars for the cinder block. Stop calling me. I believe we got off on the wrong foot, Bob. I'm terribly sorry. You again? I have a win-win proposal for you. I'll buy the garden hose, but you have to throw in the cinder block. That is my final offer. Jesus Christ, man! The cinder block is not for sale. Six dollars for the cinder block and the garden hose. That is the value proposition. You won't get a better offer than that. I don't want your offer. Goodbye. Wait, wait a second. We're a businessman, Bob. I'm a businessman, and you're a businessman. Let's do some business. Let's think outside the box for a moment. Imagine we're in the box. Now we're stepping outside. Can you see yourself stepping outside the box, Bob? Good. Now let's take this to the next level. What do you say to that? Stop calling me. Are you gonna get that? All right, you sicko. I'll sell it to you for five dollars. Five dollars for the garden hose and the cinder block? Yes. Well, I already have a garden hose. Don't start this with me again. Well, I have two garden hoses. Then I have to sell one of them. It's not easy to sell a used garden hose. Do you want the cinder block or not? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Bob. I would like to see it in person before I decide. There might be structural damage or calcium deposit. It's a perfectly fine cinder block. If I'm buying it without seeing it, maybe you can lower the price. Are you kidding me? How about four dollars for the cinder block? But you can keep the garden hose. I don't want the garden hose. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. It looks like we cannot come to an agreement here. Thank you for your time. Bob, who are you calling?
All right, sick bastard. I'll sell it to you for four bucks. That is good news, Bob. You have made the right decision. I believe this could be the beginning of a very long... Just come over here and pick up the goddamn cinder block. I'll text you the address. That is very kind of you, Bob. Thank you so much. You are a winner. Hey, have you sold the garden hose yet? Yeah, I'm thinking we should probably get rid of that old bicycle of yours, too. We have so much junk that we could be getting rid of. You've got those old pipes that are in the back, and you've got the cinder block, too. Just so much junk. <laughs>